children will ultimately harm them. Today, the British Medical Journal is out with a scathing report accusing Dr. Andrew Wakefield of deliberate fraud. His 1998 study linked the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine to autism. An investigative journalist reported Wakefield essentially made up the data on the 12 children who were the focus of that study, and he did it for financial gain. So what is a parent to do now? I asked some of our local experts. Dr. James Orlowski runs the pediatric ICU at University Community Hospital. Right now, he's treating an infant critically ill with whooping cough, a childhood disease that's preventable with vaccination. So the news that a study linking autism to childhood vaccines reportedly is an elaborate fraud is welcomed, and in his opinion, long overdue. And we see patients every week that don't vaccinate their child just because they're fearful that vaccination might cause autism in their child. And this pretty much is the crowning blow and the death knell to this whole hypothesis that there's any relationship between vaccination and autism. For anyone to continue to believe it after this article has come out would be an idiot. And yet just a few rooms away, another sick baby and a mom who refuses vaccinations, despite Orlowski's advice and this new report. I think they could not do as many. I think there are some that are unnecessary. You know, I mean... I think it's safer to not bombard the immune system with 33 inoculations or whatever it is right now. And she's not alone. Many parents of autistic kids truly believe symptoms started after vaccinations. I have two vaccine injured children. I saw it for myself. I don't think that there's any one thing that somebody can tell me that's going to change my mind. I'm, I'm living it right now. So what is a parent to believe? and do. Dr. Orlowski says get your infant vaccinated, period. And if you skipped vaccines due to autism fears, it's not too late to get them now. You can always come back and get vaccinated. There's no problem with getting vaccinated. We even vaccinate adults now. Dr. Nelson Manier, a chiropractic neurologist who treats autistic kids, says if you as a parent or your child has certain risk factors, spread the vaccinations out or even delay them. If you have the risk factors, if you are uh, an older mother, if your child was premature, if he had a uh, uh, jaundice when he was birthed, all things that we know contribute or increase your risk of having a child with autism, if it's a boy, then you need to be more cautious and maybe discuss that with your pediatrician. Well, Dr. Orlowski is a true believer in the safety and necessity of vaccines and points to the rotavirus vaccine that came out about four years ago. He says he rarely sees that illness in kids these days. More proof for him that vaccinations are more helpful than harmful. Well, we want to hear from you on this topic. Vote in our web poll at abcactionnews.com and leave a comment on our Facebook page. Well,